I am Raghuram before you going to discuss in this video about FSMs, finite state machines. Most of the circuits, digital circuits that we see in the present world are sequential circuits. The sequential circuits are mostly used to store information. When we are asked to design certain systems, certain real time system, we will design or we will expect the system to be in different kinds of situations. We will expect the system to be in different kinds of situations and we will see how the system will react to particular inputs and how we will get different types of outputs. Those different kinds of situations in which we put the system into are called state. Now overall the state machine can be given as a set of inputs, outputs and states. States and outputs are almost similar. We will get to know more about them in the generalized uh, finite state machine diagram which we are going to see. Uh, how can you assess that this state diagram is going to perform this kind of information? So the behavior of the state machine can be assessed by the path followed by the state diagram. Input to the state machine determines what the next state is going to be. Now input is given but still the system does not run until we will trigger the system. So in order to trigger the system since the system as we said is sequential circuit we need clock. Clock triggers the system. Now let us see the finite state machine generalized diagram. So the finite state machine as we said it has to be a sequential circuit. There is also some combinational component or combinational circuit that is present. So for this uh, finite state machine diagram we will give external inputs say A, M, B and so whatever the external inputs you are giving and for that external in inputs you will get outputs and the system transcends into certain states these are called state variables. Now we are going to store the information that we said. What are we going to store the information? We are going to store the in which state the system is going to be. We are going to store the information in flip flops. So when we receive the information in present time we call this. In order to calculate the next state we need another set of inputs. So these are state inputs and the output of the previous state will be given to the state inputs in order to get the outputs. So these, these outputs are called external output and these outputs are state variables or state outputs. This is the generalized diagram of the finite state machine. Uh, I'll give the comments in the comment section so that we can improve or we can develop in the next videos. Also comment about the uh, videos that you require and we'll make it. And thanks for watching. Subscribe to Smart Student to become the Smart Student. Like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.